This is a quick video on how to import the Pixie library. First, you want to log into my account. Uh, that's on WDN.com. When you're on my account, you want to go to the downloads licensed section. Let's just click on that and we'll show you quickly what's there. Um, you've got the Pixie Assistant here and then the knowledge base. That's a link if you want to link to it. And then this is what you want to download. This is the licensed version that comes with the license keys. All the other files, the PSDs and everything else comes from the download no license section. Let's go there quickly and have a look. There we go. And here you can see all of the files that you may want to download. So the next thing is how do we import this? I'm gonna go to the site I want to install on. I have already the um, Divi theme installed. So you wanna go to Divi, Divi library and then just click on this import export function in this case we're not using the divi portability option we want to import the main library directly into the library so let's click on import export uh, import again and then let's choose the file uh, once you've downloaded the unzip me pixie bundle uh, you'll see inside of those files there is a, another zip file called 13 split master files and also the master divi library import file that's the one we're going to import now before we make these imports after you've installed and activated the pixie plugin you automatically get directed to uh, the system status report i'm just going to go to this tab here to show you you can see everything is green over here if you see an uh, orange warning we recommend that you work with your hosting company to get that updated you can either do that yourself if you know how or work with your hosting company to get that updated that helps to work with the pixie but just with divi as well so if you make those updates it will make everything easier for you in general inside of divi things would load quicker the divi builder would work quicker those are generally good things to to put into practice so you would definitely benefit right so let's go back again so that's uh, divi divi library so let's import that import click on the import again choose file and then we want to go with the master divi bundle import there we go and then let's click import now this can take some time it depends on how much resources are uh, allocated to your server if you have really good hosting it should go quite quickly also if you've updated the settings uh, like i've just shown you a few moments ago this process will also go uh, quite a lot quicker if you don't have time and you're in a real rush uh, and you want to get things uploaded you can go for the split file option uh, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. I'm just going to pause here to wait for this to complete. I've just cut that import short. Um, however, that would take roughly between three to five minutes uh, for you, depending on the speed of your server. If you find you have a problem with importing this file, then we want to go for the alternative option. And those would be the split files. So let's go and take a look at those. This would be this file over here, 13 split files. You just want to extract that one. So I'm just going to extract it into the same location. There it is. And there's the split files. Now, if you want to know what's in each of these files, you can search the knowledge base for split files under the Pixie section. Uh, let me just pause. We'll go there quickly. I can show you. So here we are in the Dividend Help Scout docs and you can just go to what mod modules are uh, or layouts are included in each of the 13 split files. And that then gives you a full breakdown uh, and then you can import them individually, the particular ones that you need. So let's go and have a look. Let's click on import again. Let's choose, oops, let's choose file. Let's do that again. Import, choose file and then let's go and grab one of those split files let's just make it quick 
There we go. Let's wait for this one to import. And then once it's done, it's just going to reload. Once you've added the library, you can then come to your page. You can go to load from library, add from library, and then you'll see all the page layouts. Now we only see two because we only imported a small section of the library. Once you import more, you will have access to the rest. I just wanted to also show you, you can load from library at the top here. Generally, those would be complete page layouts. You can also add from library at the bottom here. It's slightly confusing inside Divi, but when you click add from library, you'll get different options. Uh, you want to pick pixie bundle and then you'll get sections and not modules so you need to make the distinction at the top here is page layout imports from the bottom you can import sections or modules and modules would normally go from this inside section when you click on insert column you would add the columns and then you would click on insert module and then add from library and that would allow you to add a module. So it's important to make the di distinction in your head. When you go to the Divi library, you'll notice layouts, sections and modules. We haven't imported any modules on this one uh, because we're doing the split files. So that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.